New at 10, a college baseball team playing for a national championship as the school itself closed down. That's right. Birmingham Southern College is looking to win a Division III crown and ride off into the sunset. Their story is even drawing national attention. Jamie Hill has the story. The wildest story in college baseball resides right here in Birmingham, where the Birmingham Southern Panthers are going to play in the College World Series for a school that no longer exists. Like if you'd have told me two months ago, like when he said the school was closing, it would have we would have never thought we'd have been here. It's just a crazy feeling. And a bun out in front of the plate. After being told their college was closing its doors for good, something clicked for the Panthers. Winning 17 of their final 21 games, advancing and winning the Super Regionals, and punching a ticket to the College World Series. I think everybody's excited. Everybody's ready to get going. I feel like all this work that we put in has kind of gone into getting us here, and I feel like we're all very excited to just get to experience a World Series. It's like a storyline from a movie, which is why this team's attracted national media and even has a camera crew from Netflix following them around to capture this one of a kind journey. We were actually on Sports Center, kind of just telling our story because I feel like everybody needs to hear our story. It's kind of one of never giving up, um, even when the going gets hard. I feel like that's something that this world needs. BSC is becoming America's favorite team. Hundreds of local fans and supporters gather Tuesday night for a send off at Tasty Town. It's a great time. We have a lot of alumni and old players come to visit and they just are sharing their support with us the day before we leave. For a D3 school, it's kind of, it's kind of rare to get this kind of attention and to know that so many people are rooting us on it. It's awesome. Their campus may be closing, but the Panthers baseball story is still being written. The biggest question is if they win, where will the trophy go? I don't know. Maybe maybe do a little Stanley Cup, pass it around. Um, probably it'll just end up in Coach's living room, which that's kind of funny, but it's also really cool.